Predictions on climate change and its implications for the world are bleak. The reduction of carbon emissions and the need for rapid introduction of renewable energy has become a race to save the planet. Earth Report travels to Britain, Germany and Mauritius to monitor the race. Britain is currently behind many countries in the switch to renewable energy such as solar and wind power. Installing solar in the UK is so expensive it takes an individual 40 to 50 years to get their money back. In Germany it takes just 12 years. There people can sell electricity back to the grid at a price guaranteed for 20 years. In Germany they end up making money. In Germany, it's payback time. Hermann Scheer, MP, is one of the main reasons Germany is doing things differently. I had a question. The question was, what is the non-fossil alternative to nuclear energies? Because there is no doubt fossil energies will run out. The question was why should it not be the renewable energy potential? And most people, including um, environmental activists, answered the potential would not be enough. And I didn't believe that. I didn't believe that and then I started to make my own research. And um, my finding was it would be enough, by far enough. Freiburg in southwest Germany became a key center of the renewable energy movement. Both industry and research institutes specializing in photovoltaics based themselves here. The outward signs, offices, homes and schools with solar panelled roofs justify Freiburg's title, Solar Capital of Europe. Josef Pesch runs FESA, a company dedicated to small-scale and community investment in renewable energy. The whole thing started, I think, with the uh, first nuclear power station not built in Germany. And that, in a way, sparked a chain reaction because everybody in the scene agreed it's not enough to be against something. You want to do something positive. In a way, in Freiburg, you have this, this coming together of conservative in the real sense of the word. That is uh, from the Latin conservare, uh, to keep, to conserve. And uh, progressive uh, Greens uh, who got together here. The German Environment Ministry has announced that over 200,000 people are now employed in the renewable energy industry. It produces 12% of its electricity from renewable sources, solar, wind, hydro and biomass. And growth in this sector is the highest in Europe. The incentive was the Renewable Energy Act of 1999. It simply sets out that you are given a fixed price for an installation that you build of, uh, that is fixed for 20 years. Uh, that law was passed uh, in order to give small independent power producers a chance to get into that market and to sell their electricity at a decent price. The main architect of the German Renewable Energy Act was Hermann Scheer. The whole law has only three elements. First element is guaranteed access to the grid for each renewable energy power supplier, even when it is a very small one. Second, the guaranteed price, the guaranteed fee. And the third element is uh, no limitation for introduction, an open door. Solar Fabrique in Freiburg is one of Europe's leading solar technology manufacturers, part of the renewable industry boom. In Germany, the solar industry alone makes revenues of 4 billion euros and has 45,000 employees. However, the growth of the alternative energy sector almost never happened. Some German utility companies launched a huge campaign to challenge the legality of the act. The uh, electric power trusts tried in the last 15 years all what they could do to block it. 
They uh, tried to um, block the uh, legislation and they didn't succeed. Then they went to the Supreme Court and claimed it would be against the market rules and they lost. Then they went to the um, European Court and they lost. They lost all battles. Earth Report repeatedly asked the German electricity industry for their view on the legal action. They declined to give an interview. The German utilities argued that there were really two problems with the Renewable Energy Act. Firstly, they argued that it was anti-competitive because it provided a fixed price for electricity produced from green electricity rather than a market price. And secondly, they argued that it was threatening grid stability because the grid companies were forced to take all the renewable energy no matter at what time of day it was produced. It's not threatening yet. But the energy companies have become aware that generating energy from solar power can become a threat if they don't deal with the issue today. One thing is clear. Today, power stations are run on oil and gas, which are depleting resources. And they have to consider relatively soon what alternatives are available. That's why the opposition that has been against this form of energy generation a few years ago has now nearly disappeared. But if German utilities are forced to pay out for renewable energy, does it mean electricity prices will go up? In Germany, we work this out uh, because that is added to the electricity bill that each individual pays. It's uh, about a euro a month that you pay extra for this renewable energy, energy bill, uh, which is about 12 euro a year. Uh, this is uh, the price of a couple of beers. Back in Germany, this dream is becoming a reality with the help of the 1999 Renewable Energy Law. This is our latest solar uh, power plant that we just finished last year in June. It was financed by citizens putting in money. We have 18 shareholders in this. And in June, in just one day, it produced all the electricity my household consumes in a complete year, in just one day. We can only do this, of course, because we have a minimum price law. We have a price for electricity here that is fixed, that, is that can be calculated. And this is why uh, a small company like mine can go to a bank, say, look, we have this site, we have the panels. Uh, can you give us the finance? And, and they said yes. Uh, without the minimum price that is guaranteed for 20 years, this would definitely have not been bankable. You can see this in the region uh, because solar energy is being talked about uh, and it pays also for private, even smaller investors. And you can see this right here that private house owners are putting solar panels on their roofs. As soon governments see um, fast development, including new industries, new jobs, like it happens in Germany, they get appetite <laughs> for that. They, they start to ask, why happens, could that happen in Germany and why doesn't it happen here? There is always a certain inertia uh, in changing a system. Uh, but if you look at the map of Europe and if you look at, uh, those, uh, look at those countries who have uh, a minimum price system, it is those countries who are also successful in renewable energies and much more successful, I think, than, than Britain is at the moment. Figures from the Department of the Environment show Britain only produces 4% of its electricity from renewables. Without a law like Germany's that sets prices and makes renewable energy affordable, small investors will not be encouraged by the prospect of a short payback time. In the UK, there are some government grants for solar and wind power, but demand far outstrips availability. We asked the Department of the Environment and the Department of Trade and Industry for an interview. They both declined. Roughly 30 countries have copied our Renewable Energy Act. And it will become more. It's only a question of political will. Only a question of political will. Nothing else. 